And we're back with uh, the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. And I will probably always, like, hesitate when I say that because it's such a long name. I don't know what's going on. Uh, when we last left off, we helped a bunch of wolves not eat us. So, you know, that's good. We could have let them die and eaten them, but, you know. God forbid we let that happen. Uh, yes, pick this up. Can he jump with stuff? He can. He's a strong little fucker, isn't he? Uh, I don't know which way I want to go. Oh. I'm gonna go the other way. Come here. I don't, like, I don't, I'm definitely not going to grab everything this playthrough. I can't. I, I've missed stuff already, but. I'd still like to grab as much as I could. Huh. So, how do we get to that flower? Hopefully, it's this way. Uh, oh, okay. Now, do I really want to make that jump? I'm not sure. Hey, let's not pull that one off yet. Leap of faith? Fuck. Yeah. I you know maybe. Come here. All right. Like it's weird like how you have to hold the controller to get this stuff to work. Well, it's not. I'm just stupid. I have, like, I'm holding the controller, like, how do I want to describe it? Uh, like, lobster clawed for the, the face buttons. Because you have to hit, um, I haven't realized yet that you can let go of the Y button, the hold hands button, the second you pick up the you open up the menu to tell the prince to do stuff and so I'm trying to hold them both at the same time and if you're going but you just clearly said you can do this you know you can do that well uh you think I'm a smart person and well that's where you're wrong oh I thought I just killed the prince oh nope totally killed him there though Hmm. Fucker. So, there's like challenges for not killing certain things. Oh, you know what? Nope, there he goes. He's dead. Yep. How did I know? Let's try not to kill him this time. Or ever again. Oh no, I need you. Uh, I don't trust this. Oh.
Oh, okay. Drop that. I honestly thought that was going to take a few more tries than it did. It's, of course. Because, no, grab his hand. Thank you. And we're gone. Story time. Or not. What the fuck is this? Oh, good. Spiders. My fi Uh. Yeah. This isn't. Oh, good. I get to deal with teleporters. <laughs> oh, what kind of fuckery is this? Hey. Oh. It's a boo. That's nice. I also like how they don't, it doesn't know that the prince is blind, so you can, like, leave him there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because if I grab this... Oh, hey, could I have survived if I was the wolf? I primarily did that to look at this. Hey, it's this thing. Oh, enemy covered in dense fur like a caterpillar. They look like bugs because they squirm on the ground but inside they're quite meaty their fur rustles when they move oh they look they look adorable too bad they're fucking assholes <laughs> also isn't mirrored the music get really fucking loud in this area for some reason uh yeah hopefully it's not too loud Nice. I wonder what the phone has to say. I can look at it right now. Hopefully it's not important. Okay. That might be another thing I have. What the fu- oh, okay. I saw these things, like, moving, and I thought they were, like, the fucking hanging dolls coming to life. I was gonna lose my shit. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, yeah, my phone thing wasn't important. Why would anyone text me? Anyways. The hell are you? One and two, two and three, three and one. Unless you cross... Th wait. Unless you cross them, the road will not open. One, two, two, three, three, one. Okay. 
One. One and two. Two and three. Four, five. Oh, one and two. It's three. Five, four. Wasn't one and two. One and two, two and three, three and one. Unless you cross them, the road will not open. Four, seven, eight, nine, twelve. One and two, two and three, three and one. Let's try making this fucking 12. Cross them. One and two, two and three, three and one. Unless you cross them. Mysterious row of crystals. One and two, two and three, three and one. It's the cross part I don't get. Hmm. Maybe have to be in order? I don't fucking know. That seems stupid. Yeah, it is. Cross. The fuck does that mean? One and two, one and two, two and three, three and one. Unless you cross them. Two, six, three. Yep. I don't remember and being the word for multiplication, but I do remember. At dusk, they found a lake in the middle of the forest. The scarlet sunset's reflection danced brilliantly on the lake's surface. The area appeared safe, so they decided to stay there for the night. After dinner, they spent- what the fuck did they eat? They spent some more time talking. Prince, you read a lot of books, don't you? Yeah, like books with games you can play with each other's? Oh, really? What's that like? The princess asked, curious. She was used to playing alone. The princess was delighted that she was- the prince was delighted that she was interested, so he happily explained one of the game's rules. So there's a winner and a loser. Okay, let's play the princess said eagerly to the blind prince. Oh, and let's make it 
that the loser has to grant the winner's wish. Oh, all right. The prince added, all right, I'm not gonna lose. Said the princess, uh, ha haughtily? Huh. You feeling like she'd already won. I lost, the princess chattered her teeth, <laughs> blinking back tears. Yeah, well, her fucking hair is crying, so. Let me guess. He wants you to sing, and you can't do that. Uh, you know a lot of words that I don't. Uh, I read a lot of books. Oh, ha ha ha, I read a lot of books, the prince said sheepishly, grinning. Fuck, I'm too tired for this shit, apparently. Uh, since I won, can I tell you my wish? Uh, yeah, the princess was still upset at losing, but she regained her composure and waited for the prince to speak. Princess, I, I want to hear you sing, the prince said shyly. What? Sing? Her singing voice, which the prince had come to hear every night, had been giving the witch in exchange for her. She couldn't sing. Oh, she didn't sing since she started traveling together. It was hard to imagine what her voice would sound like now. I love your singing voice. Hmm. If I don't sing, will he no longer trust me? Uh. Okay, I'll do it. The prince nervously cleared her throat and started singing. But her voice was nothing like her hold. In fact, it was horrible. The prince looked blank. She sounded completely different from what he remembered. The princess started coughing, embarrassed. Sorry, I guess I'm exhausted from all this travel. I'll sing again after I've recovered. Oh no, I'm sorry, I forced you to sing. We should sleep early so we can rest. The prince's gentle words cut into the princess, who felt guilty for lying about her voice. Dawn arrived, the prince was in a deep slumber, but the wolf remained unable to sleep. She slowly walked around the lake, her head buzzing with anxiety. It's impossible for monsters as human to get along. The goat's words were really endlessly. I need to stay in princess form, the wolf thought. I can't be with the prince unless I keep lying. She felt conflicted by her feelings for the prince and her ly constant lying. The wolf prodded the lake's surface as if to ease her, as if to erase her uneasiness. The water slowly rippled. The wolf glanced at it and saw her monster this reflection. She sighed a heavy sigh and pondered the lake's surface again. I feel like I read that last sentence wrong. The fuck am I in the story? Oh. I missed one. Hell yeah! Ah, the tree thing! Yes! I can tur- <laughs> Thank you, game. Our growing between the stump and the body... Resembles an el- Oh, the legs resemble an elephant. Neat. I get to go four before I find- I get another one. Oh shit. Fuck. That uh that ended up pretty well. Oh. He like got through me for a bit. Oh no. The fuck? Large birds leading a stray person have four wings on the right side. Wait. Blank, blank, blank on the left.
Oh, fuck. What number ends with TH? Or HT? Ah, uh, fuck. Is that the witch's place behind us? What the fuck? What the hell? Large birds leading a stray person have four wings on the right side. Four, wait. HT. Fuck, no. Four? Oh, I'm stupid. How about I do this? That's the right side. I guess I should just be. Yeah. Oh, hey. I remembered how to spell eight. I honestly figured it didn't matter once I figured out that there were only two. I could just go to four and just mash the other one. So that puzzle wasn't too annoying. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. Oh, wait. What's this chapter called? Dire Dragon Cavern. Oh, okay. Geronimo? Oh, cool. Let's go grab the fire again. I swear I know what I'm doing half the time. That's a blatant lie. Back, foul beasts. Back. Oh, fuck. I have confused the poor child. Let's fucking bum rush this. Yeah. Some of them are still, they're trying to bite me still. Oh yeah, over time the lantern's flame will burn out. Thanks game. Many collectible items decorate the witch's garden. Decorate this place. 
and continuous wailing that count the re fuck. Red, yellow, and blue gems. One yellow, one red. Uh, three yellow, three red. I'm fucking pulling up. I'm pulling up sticky notes for this shit. I'm not remembering this. It's three yellow, three red. Uh, two blue. Oh my god, I'm fucking stuck on the ghost. So two blue, four yellow. to the red and the yellow. Two more yellow. So I'm going to take it there's no more yellow. Because that one right there is number... Cool. Red, yellow, blue. So five, nine, whatever the fuck. Because it doesn't matter. Three. That's why it doesn't matter. Was that the end of a chapter? Yeah, I think it was. I think each of those scarecrow things is the end of a chapter. The right side is a shortcut, down below is a difficult path. I'm fucking stupid. Ah, fuck. This is a collection of numbers. Uncover four stories within stones. Each story contains information that indicates the number and location of the sequence. Alright. Can I just leave the fucking prints here, please? You know, good on the game for being like, yeah, this is a bitch and a half. Don't do it if you don't want to. You wanna go, bitch? Kudos to this game for just letting you completely fucking skip this. Oh, I guess he wasn't close enough. I saw that fucking like row of numbers and I was just like, damn it. Alright.
Death in the forest in four days to notice, three to witness, less than a third spoke. Wait. Four days to notice, three witnesses, less than a third spoke. I wonder if they're going to do like, um, sleep, sleep, I repose for one year. Wake at the first and not uh, a second past. So one one two. I'm still holding on to this lamp. Oh, they put him over the thing. Okay. I don't need to be writing this shit down. Good thing I brought the lamp. Gonna assume I don't need it. Poison saw, three minutes to cover, nine to do. Wait, the ninth to do so earns thrice its wealth. Yeah, fuck off you. Damn, it, I fucking needed the lamp. Oh, I can't fucking hurt this ghost. Okay. They really are like the fucking booze. Ah! Oh. Well, at least like, damn it. You have to have him in the right spot and it's so annoying. I was getting rid of the notes I don't need. I just fucking died. <laughs> I got crushed. Are you fucking kidding me? Yep, I just got crushed again. These spirits can kiss my ass. Oh well. Nope. Ah. Uh... This part sucks just because you have to deal with so much shit at once. Damn it. 
I knew the second I, the prince didn't turn around, I was screwed on that. Yep. It's like the ghosts need to be in the right, like you need to do it at the right time. Let's have you there. Cheese it. Oh, fuck. I got up here for nothing. It seems like if you don't stop, like, the enemies can't hit you. Well, except for the boar, but, you know, fuck him. What do you got for me, thing? Oh, that moves now. Good. That's an interesting uh, predicament to be in. Ah, oh, shit. A is not the jump button in this game. Ah, uh, two phase, ten beam, thirty glows. Okay. Now I just have to get back alive. That'll kill both of us. Yeah, yeah. Three, nine. Okay. That indicates the order and location. Pose one year, sleep, sleep, illuminate. I mean, A show of ten beams and three pulsing glares. Uh, what the fuck? Takes three, uh, the poison swap takes three minutes to cross. The ninth to do so earns thrice its wealth. Three, nine, zero? Oh, wait, why the fuck did I move away from it if it was zero? It's three nine three a thing. Oh fuck! I am not good at this. Four three. One 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 one. Death in the forest and four days to notice. Three. Three witnesses less than a third. So 
four times three divided by a th third would be four. The order and location of uh, the number sequence. Illumination has two, two phases, a show of ten beams, and three pulsing glares. I fucking legitimately think it'd be faster for me to go through one through what not, all, like all fucking thousand options. All 10,000 options would be a lot fucking faster than this. Repose for one year, wake at the first hour and not the second past. The order and the sequence. Pose for one year, two, three, four. I, uh, four days. Okay, well, there's one four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, ten by four, so there's forty. Ten beams. Three pulsing glares. I didn't fucking do anything. Fuck it. I'm gonna fucking go top to fucking bottom. So seven. These are both 1-1 one, one then. <laughs> Only if those weren't some of the farthest fucking numbers away. I have zero idea what these... Like, once I fucking get this, I'm gonna... Honestly... one two five six. Each story's entertain. Okay. One, 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 zero, three.
If nothing else, at least this is really good music. Nine zero nine. Nine zero nine. I'm actually going to jump to the one zero two zero. One zero two zero. This can't be it because you'd be able to figure this out without the numbers. Two phases, ten beams. Thrice his wealth. Okay. Takes three minutes to cross. The ninth to do so. Thrice. I think I got it. So I think I think the first number in a puzzle is the row you're supposed to take. So like the fourth day should be the bottom row. The third witness should be the third column. And then less than a third You do whatever to that you need to get. So this one should be four. This one should be two. Let's try that. Three, nine, ninth is one, earns thrice as a root. So this should be three. Two, ten, three. So second row, tenth column. And three pulsing glares, so nine. One, one, so two. Damn it, that wasn't it. Fuck. and the location of the number sequence. The order. Uh, this does say less than a third, so would that be one? No. Illumination has two phases, a show of ten beams, and three pulsing glares. Let me go back to the... Cause the forest seems like it's the most forward. Death in the forest, four days to notice. Third witness, less than a third spoke. That'd 
be zero. Let's see. see, I feel like I was right on the initial path, but... Sleep, sleep, repose for one year, wake at the first hour and not a second past. That's one, one, two. Does one, one, two appear anywhere on this board? No. Fucking hell. I honestly do not know. Poisonous swap takes three minutes to cross the ninth to do so, earning his. Earning. Wait. The ninth to do so. Three. Nine, yeah. Fuck me. I don't understand this puzzle. Each story contains information that indicates the order and the location of the number sequence. The order and the location. And a third spoke. A third of six is two. Okay. It takes three minutes to cross, the ninth to do so. And that earns thrice is and three not a second past. Sleep, sleep, repose. Do I know what the fuck repose means? No. Oh. Sleep for w one year. Wake at the first hour and not a second past. Repose means sleep. Sleep for one year. Wake at the first hour and not a second past. Is the answer fucking 2003? I don't fucking know. Four, three, eight. No, because eight's not on this fucking board. Seven is. Nine, six. So I'm dealing with one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Why isn't eight on here? Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So there's ten ones. Hold up. No, get back there. It's nine zeros. Ten ones. Five twos. Two fives. Three sixes. I think there was only two sevens. Yeah, it's two sevens. Five nines. Yeah, I don't think it has any fucking thing to do with this goddamn puzzle. <laughs> Holy shit. Sleep, sleep, see for one year, wake up at the first. And not a second past. One, one, one. It's still one. Eliminate has phase. Show the beams. So two, ten, three. Three nine four three six. The oh, fuck, yeah, that's fucking puts me up here, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. I'm serious, I don't have a fucking clue what the fuck any of this shit means. Like... I thought I had it with the column row thing. It can't be row column because there's more than, yeah. One, three, one, six. Fuck, I might have to look this up and I don't want to. 
But I've wasted I've wasted way too much fucking time on this. Oh god, I don't think anyone has the fucking puzzle up. Oh no, it's right here. The fuck am I? I can also skip this stage, but I don't want to do that. I'm fucking. Oh, hey, what the hell is this? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, this is also adorable. A hollow tree hill. It's not a riddle. I spent twenty minutes trying to figure out the riddles. It's not riddles. It's just it, they're much blunter than they appear. It's suggesting the comment row and the number of its orbs. What the fuck does that mean? Wait. Each. Each of the phrases is suggesting the column and row of the number of its orb. Well, yeah, fuck, I got that. Give me one, one. This would be five. Two. Ten, three, three, nine, what? The number. Fuck it. I'm I'm going to spend for fucking ever trying to figure out what the fuck that means. Like I need it has two phases. A show of 10 beams 
in three glances. Oh, I understand what I was doing. Okay. So the mistake I was making is I was taking, it is Colin Monroe's. I was on the right track. My mistake was I was taking the first number. I was taking the, like it says one year, two phrases, three minutes, uh, and four days. I was taking those and that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take the so there's three numbers in each row you're supposed to take the bottom two not the top two that's where my error was i fucking get it now i cannot tell you how many times i've made mistakes like that in life i am honestly gonna fucking post a like skip here because i don't fucking figure the puzzle out uh oh here you go Jesus Christ, that was stupid. That was stupid of me. Like, the puzzle makes perfect sense. I'm just an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> that was... I... I fucking spent all that time on nothing. I... I'm more upset that I had the right solution. I was just taking the wrong numbers. Nothing pisses me off more than that. Like, cause to me, it's like, I'm smart. I'm just an idiot. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh. Why the fuck can I now do this? Like, yeah, that goes back to the whole, like, why can't I just speak loudly? <laughs> Yeah, there is. Fuck, can I do annotations on YouTube still? If I do, that is. There's gonna be one for that. I'm like, just fucking skip to this area. No, I killed the prince. God damn it. I'm gonna get that fucking achievement for killing him 30 times before the end of this game. God, that. I'm so pissed off at that puzzle. Again, I'm pissed off at myself for it. Oh, fuck. Uh, you can go down a while before it's that kill zone. Where the fuck am I in stage select? Yeah. That was about fucking 20 minutes of that bullshit. I'm gonna assume this thing will like come back up. Yeah. Hey, I'm right. Don't need to be suicidal on this shit. I know what to do. Anyways. I'm still leaving him there because I want to yeah, figure out that nothing's over here. Okay, good. Oh, 
Hell yeah. Uh, you stop right there. There's nothing over here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so there's that. Grab this? No? Okay. Okay, I get this puzzle. I'm picking up what it's putting down. Good thing I came here. That might be new uh, concept art. No? Damn it, I'm one away. Alright, let's go. That's really neat. Yep. I need to stop doing that. Guess we're going through here. Good thing I killed everything. No! Oh, good. These fucking black hole teleports are really, really off. you why why wouldn't it let him go past that why'd I have to wait for him to hit that mark first oh we got fucking new stuff oh goddamn boar Fucking hate those things. Oh, that's cute.
Yeah, I'm gonna take it you need this. get he's my oh, fucking of course I died right at the end again I'm noticing a trend now fuck yeah flower and half bloom the princess hesitated, lost in thought. She was holding a flower she had picked for the prince. Yes, that was literally two seconds ago. Oh. Eventually, the princess nodded with resolve and transformed gently to avoid crushing the flower. She was attempting to give the flower to the prince in her true form. Her fingers trembled with anxiety. But in the end, she never gave him the flower as the wolf. Ah. Uh, the flower seemed to be telling her that her beastly self would never be good enough for him, and that she, and that she would always be a monster who only knew how to hurt others. She looks kind of pissed off in this photo. I don't know. It's that front eye that's just not doing the scene justice. Princess was wrong. The wolf was startled to hear the prince's voice. She sighed sadly and transferred back into the princess. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Here you go. The princess wistfully smiled. And she gave the flower to the prince. The prince's usual happy smile filled her with pain that day. How many days have we been doing this? It's been like one. Aww. Yay. Listen to this. Ah, oh, what a lovely, lovely area. Oh, bats. Hell yeah. Bats are awesome. Except in this game where they're trying to kill the prince. Fuck them. And Pokemon where they're zoo bats. Fuck those guys. This is awesome. No. No shit, it's dark. No, come back here. The fire illuminates the dark. Thanks, game. Can we just appreciate this music for a minute? Like... Like, I, I'm aware I'm supposed to be talking, but like, just listen to this music. That's just, this is peaceful. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, shit. <laughs> this is peaceful, prepares immediately face plants. Oh fuck yeah, I'm an ace hunter now. These things also only take two uh, attacks to kill. Alright. I fucking just popped my jaw. That one kind of hurt. A 
I've got this. Really blue area, like suspiciously blue. I guess we're going this way. Also, I like how the game will tell you, like, hey, you have to, you found, like, this many here. What the fuck? Oh, right. So, uh... I hit B on accident thinking it was A because I was using an Xbox controller earlier today. Hold up. Uh, the fuck? The princess led the prince through a dark cave despite her best efforts to carefully guide him. The ground that he was standing on collapsed, which is fucking odd. Prince. I'm not yelling. It is midnight. I'm not yelling. The princess sees his hand, but she could not lift him in her current form. She could rescue him easily, though, but in her... But if her hand still holding against her no wolf, he'd know if she was a monster. She desperately tried to pull him up with her shaking body. No... Unfortunately, she couldn't do it any longer, and she ran out of energy and unwillingly let go of his hand. Thud. Oh, God, he's got a concussion again. Uh, that's not... No, we've survived longer. Falls. Oh, she looked where he had fallen and saw him lying in a small, shallow hole. Her mind went blank and her heart filled with dread, but the prince soon set up waving he was perfectly fine. The ground that had given way was shallow, so the prince didn't suffer any injuries. The princess felt relieved. But the princess looked at her hand, the feeble and tiny hand that couldn't help the prince. She began to feel uneasy about keeping him safe in the future. How the fuck did we pull him out of that? Oh, he looks adorable. Is he gonna? Yep. <laughs> I'm like, I figured he was gonna fling me like that fucking uh thing in uh. Yeah, I didn't seem too concerned about that monster. Anyways, those things from like Super Mario 64. And like the later levels. You know, I'm just going to be grateful he's not dead. I don't know what the hell they were called. They were like robots that had like... Um... Okay. I'm just so like instinctual, instinctually like t bitch tossing people. Uh, fuck off game. Could you do that to him? I kind of need him. <laughs> oh shit, that's not me to the right. Oh shit, bat. Oh, is that a bat scorpion? Is that what I'm dealing with today?
Okay. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on here. Fuck. I'm a dumb idiot. I don't know why I'm just not traveling as the wolf anytime I'm not holding onto this guy's hand. Honestly, this seems stupid to me. Yes. Damn it. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> this is gonna. <laughs> This is going to end poorly somehow. In my haste, I almost fell off my... God damn it. That wasn't even a long jump. Yeah, okay. The face planning's adorable yet annoying. Fuck. At least put me back there. Cool. No, I don't want the album. I want the collection. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, it's really hard for me to figure out what's going on there. That's just that's just because of like it's like really rough and the bottom half. What else do we got going on here? Okay. No, Prince. Oh, this is kind of reminding me of Dust and uh, that Dust game of a while back. God, that was such a good game. Oh, let me guess. There's a rock somewhere. Cool. I almost ran straight past him. What a surprise. I like to point out he's holding that thing with one hand right now. I don't know how he's pulling that one off, but kudos to him. Now let's be smart and wait. Ah, see? I didn't die this time. This looks fucking fun.
Neat. <laughs> I like how they're delegated there for the rest of their lives. These things not gonna like question what the fuck we're up to, or are they just not care. As long as they're tossing something across the sky, they don't. They're they're fi fine and happy. Is this death? Nope. I don't fucking trust it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how there's a save point for like stupid people like me. It's like there was there was literally no obstacle. The obstacle is to not walk into him. And he's in a position where he cannot automatically grab you. They they just knew there was gonna be someone like me as like like I mean I gotta figure out if I'm gonna die doing this. While traveling through the cave, they came across a strange area filled with many holes, which looked like gaping mouths in the darkness. There might be something dangerous in them. The princess thought to protect the prince, she stood in front of one of the holes and peered inside it. Oh. Then, ah! Uh, Tons of small black creatures emerged from the holes. The princess and the prince soon found themselves completely surrounded. The prince, sensing the the princess's alarm, seized her hand and braced himself. Don't move, the princess said, ready to fend off the creatures. But the creatures only twitched their no uh, nostrils in curiosity. Hmm, maybe they're not harmful, the princess said, just as she turned her back. Uh, what the fuck? The creature next to the prince opened its mouth wide. Oh, it's crying! Don't eat him. The princess jumped at the creature and pushed it away, sending it flying into a rock well. Oh, it's so sad! <laughs> the creature now with a lump on its head started crying. No, I feel bad. Flowers smell good and tasty. The creature only wanted to eat the prince's flowers, not the at the prince himself. This thing can talk. Uh, the prince tried approaching the crying creature. No prince is too dangerous. Let him. Let me do it. The princess offered, not wanting him to know that the creatures were monsters. The creatures quickly told her that they were moles who lacked sight. Alright. But had an excellent sense of smell and loved flowers. Flowers don't bloom in the cave, they said, but sometimes the wind carries in petals. Flower petals. Flowers are our favorite, but since they're so scarce, we fight over them when they come in. Some moles have even died as a result. Jesus. Hiding that the creatures were moles. The princess relayed the story to the prince. Oh, I want to share my flower, but it's too important to me. I'm sorry. The moles became sad and <laughs> made high, pitiful squeals with their noses. Ah. The princess, why don't we get them flowers for them? The prince suggested. The princess agreed. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go get some flowers. The moles stopped crying and became happy. That's good. Now I'm still crying, though. <laughs> Following the petals riding on the wind, the two set off to find another flower field. God, this game's adorable. I just killed no one. Okay, good. Nope. 
Oh, this looks really cool. God, there are there are things that there are challenges to not kill anything in some of these levels. He's dead. <laughs> I like it. I like how that was just a known fact to me. Like, well, this is not gonna end well. Let's have it fly away before I do this. Give me time to actually transform and shit. Oh. Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? That was annoying. Oh shit. Oh. Will this kill me? Nope. Yay. He's happy now. Cool. Yep. Mother fucker. Don't know why I didn't expect that to happen. Like that is completely on me. I don't have to give him that flower again, do I? No. And I will say, I, uh, once I get done with this chapter, I'm going to call it, um... Primarily because I am tired and I'm losing it. And I would like him to... I'd like to, uh... <laughs> I want something to have to do tomorrow. Really. Not just the... Not just the Resident Evil DLC. I would like more than just that. You come back here right fucking now. Who said you could attack him? I sure as fuck didn't.
Cool. Oh, I need to stop walking away from him. Oh, this might be, this might be a thing. There should be a rock up here. No, fuck. I don't think these things care about the flames. They might, but uh I know they can't attack if they're dead. Oh shit. Oh, double shit. Uh that worked out in the end somehow. Not really sure what the hell happened. <laughs> Not sure how I got out of that without getting killed, honestly. Hmm. See, I came down here. Just to grab that, mainly. Oh, well, this is adorable. The princess gasped upon arriving to the floor, uh, flower field. Flowers of every color were blooming. Oh, made even more radiant by the setting sun. It was the most beautiful sight she had ever laid eyes on. It smells wonderful, doesn't it, princess? Yeah, I've never seen such a pretty field before. Oh, really? Oh, I wish I could see it. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. The princess closed her eyes for a moment and took it all in, wishing she could show this to the prince. Okay, let's pick some flowers. Ah, mm. oh, they gathered a lot of the flowers and went back to the cave. The moles were ecstatic at the flowers the princess and the prince had brought, and they began to jump and run through, run around the pair, uh, clamoring for the flowers. Calm down. Okay, I'm handing them out now. The prince skipped far to each mole one at a time, but one mole was anxious and couldn't hold on any longer. Chomp, the mole sink its teeth in the flower and the princess were holding. The princess was taken aback. The both mole didn't care and started chewing on the flowers. Om nom nom, they're so yummy. The most who already received their flowers began consuming them in earnest, happy hummings. Oh. Happy humming could be heard all around the cave. The princess, though, the prince was off to the side, telling one of the moles about the location of the uh, flower field. Thank you so much, said the mole. Why don't you stay for, here for a bit? The moles then brought some food for the princess, and apparently they were extremely grateful. That night. They fucking set the thing on fire oh no they returned to the flower field the princess wanted to give a special flower to the prince and he didn't want those little she didn't want those assholes eating it the lantern the prince held illuminated the field the moonlight could occasionally be seen poking behind the clouds as the prince gave the flower the prince she took her hand and she shyly squeezed hers in return oh 
The prince is so warm in the prince's hand, he immediately forgot all of her trouble. She wished things could stay like this forever, and then the moonlight hit her. Uh, for a moment, princess let guard down. The moonlight appeared and the clouds had shone on them. Uh oh. Uh. It shone on them briefly, but that was all it took for the prince's hand. Still holding the prince, changed the wolf, shivering feeling coursed through the prince's hand. Uh, it was the feeling of the monster that had both slashed the prince's eyes and grasped his arm. He tried not to cry out in fear. But why? Why had her hands changed into the monsters? The prince couldn't believe it. Could she be? The princess. She's the monster. He scrambled away from her. Wait, prince. It's not. She tried to explain, but her words fell on deaf ears. That is also a very casual expression on her face for what just occurred. No, don't come any closer. The prince moved further away, not knowing that he was near the edge of a cliff. No. Oh. The prince. Oh, prince, watch out. The princess leaped for him just before he freed, squeezed his hand. The lantern he was holding slipped out of his grasp and tumbled down the cliff. Prince, give me your other hand or you'll fall. The prince hung his head and didn't move. Princess, why did you lie to me? What are you talking about? Hang on, I'll pull you up. But she was too weak to lift him to safety. Are you really a monster? No, it's just your imagination. Maybe you got confused when you gave you the flower. The princess still felt guilty about lying, but she couldn't risk him knowing that she was really the monster that blinded him. Please take my hand. She desperately tried, uh, but he continued. Nothing but hang his head. Oh. Hmm. oh, sorry. I am really tired. Misfortune then struck. Everything beforehand was completely normal. This is the misfortune. The clouds hiding the moon vanished, bathing the two in pure moonlight. The spell was broken on the prince, and she fully reverted to the monster. She had no excuse now. No, this is no, it's not. The prince felt the beastly paw holding his hand. His suspicions were confirmed. Why did you lie? Gee, I wonder. The wolf couldn't think of anything to defend herself. Could we not do this right now? Liar, what? You liar. Let go of my hand, you monster. Kid, do you- What the fuck? The wolf's eyes welled up with tears. His words had cut deeply into her. She could barely breathe. Nothing had ever caused her heart so much pain. The wolf inadvertently loosened her grips, and the prince swung his hand free. Was he not aware he- Okay. All she could do was stare as he felt uh, him falling down the cliff. The wolf kept staring at the site where he had fallen, her mind completely blank. After what seemed like an eternity, the red light shone oh, in the dark forest. Soon the forest turns crimson, a fire had Oh, shit. The wolf snapped out of her, her uh, reverie? Yeah. When she heard trees ring, the prince is in danger, I've got to help him. Flames engulfed more trees and rapidly spread. The wolf instinctively wanted to run away. Oh, she's crying. Her body trembled. She hated for more than anything, but if the prince died in this blazing inferno. Prince summoned all of her courage. The wolf left into the blazing forest. Oh. And this is where we shall end it. Oh, fuck. It's not ninja. Use more emotion. Dude, I don't have emotions right now. It's fucking 2.30 in the morning. And I'm calling it. Because that seems like a very appropriate place to end. That was the A button, right? Yes, it was. Oh. Cool. So. I'm going to finish this tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.